So this is one of those games from the get-go that you knew was just gonna be weird. Starting with that teleported pitch right there, I was like, oh boy, usually when you're in these games with teleported pitches, you know some weird stuff is gonna happen. That's right, I said stuff, you know, kind of the, the, the little uh, guy in between Shiza and stuff, you know, stuff. So this is a game, this is not the last game I've played on Ranked Seasons, this is the one beforehand, so the one that I uh, put up Yesterday is actually the last one, so or two days ago, I should say, where I uh, actually walked it off, where I did my video about the, you know, just the timing being off in this game, which is still very, very much so off, and you're going to see in this game, too. And David Wright, guys, just a beast. You guys got to grab him. I know he's expensive right now, but it's going to get more expensive, especially as Noah Syndergaard is having a fantastic season, and his price keeps getting driven up. Try to complete this Mets collection. ASAP. So I'm able to manufacture a run here when we had the uh, stolen base. Not the stolen base. Was it stolen base by Tony? I don't even. I don't even no, no, no. It was a. It was a single followed by a double, and then we were able to drive him in here. And then uh, Wright is able to score on this wild pitch. And oddly enough, if I remember correctly, they wind up giving the catcher an error here. They give an E2. I don't know why the hell that is. That was absolutely a wild pitch, not a pass ball. So I don't know what's going on with that. And Cespedes winds up. Uh, grounding out here so we don't get any more runs but that's okay we were able to get the two in and I felt pretty damn good about that so when we were playing here this guy I don't know what it was I think he had one hit this entire game on me which was actually a good swing and that's what's getting really frustrating when somebody's able to get like seven or eight hits off you and they're all like bad timing it's it's kind of annoying it's one thing that happens every once in a while like this you look at this pitch so he actually may have had good timing on this but just wait to see where this ball was. This was a beautiful waste pitch. And let's look at this thing. Let's look where this... Look at this! It's on his damn toes! It was a damn uh, worm crusher, whatever the hell they call them. I was like, all right then. So I would go outside to Reggie Jackson. And whoop! Well, David, I think, really should have been able to uh, pick that ball up. Unfortunately, he was unable to do so. But let's see where that ball was as well. So that one, was he was just late. Of course he was just late. And it was out of the strike zone. And what? That's three in a row. Look at that. Three in a row. Pretty sure this one was out of the strike zone too because I hit my spot there. And let's let's just take a look and let's see where this one was as well. Yep. Out of the strike zone. He had good timing. He chased and was able to smash it. Absolutely smash it through my infield. So that was three straight pitches that I thought were pretty damn good pitches that this guy was able to hit. You know, for, for hits. For hits. And I don't know what the heck happened here. I stepped on first, he, I guess he thought I was going to throw over to second and get him, I wasn't even going to bother, and then he came back, and it wouldn't actually let me even move my character there, he just ran back, and whatever, I don't know what the heck that was, and I sit on a uh, curveball nicely here, able to drive it the other way with Sanchez, I actually thought he was out, I don't know why he didn't run through the bag, this was actually a ball, barely a ball, and I was directly on it, so I didn't feel too badly about uh, that hit, and then look at Noah Syndergaard driving one deep. I actually thought I was going to hit a home run with him right here. That would have been my second Diamond Dynasty ranked season uh, home run with a pitcher. It would have been my second opposite field home run with a pitcher as well. I was able to do one with the flashback, Phil Hughes, believe it or not. And this one, I was like, oh, God, I made a really good pitch again. And what, he dinks one in. And I'm like, where the hell did this pitch wind up? And I guarantee you he had a late or very late swing. And let's see, what is it going to say? It is going to say just late. Just late swing on a ball out of the strike zone. Again, he's able to dink it out. I'm like, all right. And this one I thought was going to drop, too. I was ready to pull my freaking hair out, guys. I don't know what is happening. I, I have to say, MLB 16, the show's hitting, was way better. Like, the whole thing is like, yeah, am I hitting better in this game? Of course I'm hitting better in this game for the most part. You know, my average is way higher in this than the other game. But I don't like the hits that I'm getting. I, mean, I think that I don't think actually call that an error. I think they did actually wind up calling that one an error. And Tony Gwynn just rips one into the gap here. Guys, I, I see nobody use this Tony Gwynn card. This Tony Gwynn card is absolutely fantastic. Is it good as last year's Tony Gwynn card? No, it's not quite that good. But because this guy has, I think he this one even has less power. But the, the contact is amazing. Contact's absolutely amazing. Finish out that, and it's really cheap to get the card. Get that Tony Gwynn card. He's a fantastic two-hitter to have in your lineup or leadoff hitter or even bottom of the order guy. And then, why do people pitch to D-Right? D -D -right? I don't know why they pitch to him. It's just like, you have a base open. Why are you pitching to him? It's silly. It's just plain silly. And then Freddie Freeman, you know, puts one into the uh, gap right here. So it doesn't really matter. I have fantastic protection. 
for David Wright with Freddie Freeman. And maybe that's why they wanted the righty-righty matchup. I, I have no clue. And then Sespi is able to drive one up the middle. I actually w don't wind up sending Freeman here. Number one, I mean, it was Granderson, so I probably, I probably would have scored. But the truth of the matter is there are no outs. Why take the risk? I, I trust I'll be able to get the... Uh, the run in, and um, I think I'm not able to actually get the run in because um, I think I wind up flying out and then grabbing a double, double play. So it actually came out to bite me in the tuchus, but it, you know, that is what it is. And look at this Griffey, or no, Granderson actually, another jam shot basic. But this was a line drive up the middle when he's jammed inside just late. I'm pretty sure, yeah, just late. I'm like, what do I have to do here to get these guys out? This, he was like, really getting on base with these left-handed hitters. I was having a lot of trouble getting his left-hand hand, left hitters out, especially. And then I tried to get cute here with the sinker on the outside corner, and I missed. I didn't miss my spot. My spot was good, but I was a little late on my timing, which caused it to be elevated. And he was able to take it out the other way, and I'm pretty sure he had good timing on this one. So I'm not too upset, and it wasn't a bomb either. It was right in the Crawford boxes. But it is what it is. It was a little... Uh, Unfortunate there. I thought I was going to be able to uh, get out of that inning. Griffey was killing me. And we got a little dink hit here, which you don't see that much of in this game. I'd rather see more of those and less home runs and make it a little more realistic. One thing I like about MLB The Show in past is that it's been a relatively realistic, you know, baseball game. Not quite a simulator, but still fun. I don't want to get super arcade -y. As Tony Gwynn's able to rip a double into the opposite gap this time. Get this Tony Gwynn card as well, guys. He's really, really cheap to get. And here's right again. It's like, dudes, why? Why? Why are you pitching to him? Absolutely ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. But that's what? He has a double and two home runs already in this game, and we're only in the fourth inning. And we have another teleport pitcher. I think there's about 15 teleported pitches in this game. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't phase me. I just wait and BAM! Another home run. For Freddie Freeman. It seems every time I post a ranked season video, and I am posting these in order, guys. I'm posting every one. Every time, these guys go yard. If one doesn't go yard, the other goes yard. They're like the Bash Brothers of the uh, Brooklyn Bulldogs, all right? They're just getting stuff done. And then and then Cespedes is right on that ball and had a line drive out. And then I, I think this was retaliation for all these home runs from this guy. He wants to hit me. This one pisses me off, too. So he pinch, he, he uh, pinch hits Rizzo here. I make a pretty good pitch on the inside corner. Here's just late, and he hits a bomb. And I knew it was just late because I knew that was in the inner third of the corner. And it's just an absolute bomb the opposite way. How many feet does he hit this thing? 402 feet, and he's just late on an inside pitch. If he's just late on something that's on the outer third, I get it. And if it, like, barely stays in the line, I get it. But he drove that thing to, to left center field for a bomb home run. They need to change that. That should not happen. If he is if he is just late, there is no reason why that ball should be being driven that far. I'm able to get, um, what's his face here, Reggie Jackson looking. And at this point, I was like, I don't want to throw these guys strikes. And he almost hits another not be doing that when you're beating them this far inside. I'm sorry. There is no reason why that should be happening. You want to give them a, a broken bat base hit or something like that? That's fine. But these bomb home runs need to freaking stop. I have seen enough of them. I've actually kind of been avoiding online play because of it. And don't get me wrong. I haven't, like I said, I haven't lost in like 11 or 12 matches. I'm 19 and 3. I'm just outside of the championship division. I'm actually in the division series right now. And we're at 772 rating. I do plan on playing some ranked season soon. Probably want to stream it. Another reason why I'm kind of holding off. I have been doing some conquests. I'm trying to fill those things out. Get some of those cards. I would like to get the Granderson card. They makes a nice play over here. I would like to get the Granderson card. I would like to get that Reggie Jackson card. So I do actually, you know, want to get some of those cards. We got Tony Gwynn up here having a great day. Three for three already at the dish. And chances are if I'm showing it to you guys, that means he's going to be Four for four of the dish. I'm trying to just let you guys see all the hits. Oh, no, never mind. I did not. Well, it's not able to get a hit on that one. So, never mind. I guess I don't even know what I'm doing in my editing. Here's D. Wright coming up. Three for three with a double and two jacks. We got the first pitch here. Oh, another teleported pitch. Look at that. Shnikes. I'm tired of these teleported pitches. They ha I think I've seen more teleported pitches in this game. Oh, it fools me on this changeup. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. I'm not getting fooled again. And bam! David Wright. For the third home run of the game, smashes this hanging slider into left center field for an absolute bomb. I think it says it goes 441 feet right there. That thing definitely went further than 441 feet. That sailed over that wall. That would be a 500-foot shot. At this point, also, I'm just like, I'm just going to bust these righties in. 
bust the lefties in a Buddy Bell. Buddy Bell is such a fantastic card, guys. Another card to get finished out that Rangers collection. He is a great card to have, even if you don't want to start him off your bench. He's done me well. We had that, uh, he's got ice water in his veins video that I did, where he comes up, pretty much wins a game for me off the bench. Buddy Bell, he's pretty much like a right-handed Tony Wynn, more or less slower. A slower version, but actually a better overall hitter. So I would actually probably try to get that Buddy Bell card if you don't have that one, because he has more power than uh, Tony Wynn. He's eligible to play third and shortstop. And look, what's this again? Another just late jammed Hit, right? Yep, always. I, I I can't. All this guy's hits in this game, except for with the exception of the Griffey home run, I'm pretty sure, and they, want, they were either <laughs> stuff that he hit out of the strike zone or stuff that he was just laid on. That crap is really, really, really annoying. So we're able to, uh, this is actually a pretty damn good hit. Able to, to take this the other way with Christian Yelich on the first pitch right there, and I'm pretty sure I was directly on this bad boy. That was pretty tasty. So at this point, we're going to bring in Ken Griffey Jr. here. I I want to try to do some of these, uh, you know, we want to get that uh, that that next that next card, the uh, 92 overall. First pitch swinging, sitting dead red. We get it, and this guy quits before it crosses the uh, wall. And because of that, of course, it did not count. All right, guys, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah, um, I've been posting a lot of this stuff. I continue to want to post it, and I'll be streaming soon. And hopefully I will catch you guys on my next videos and my streams. Everyone have a great day. Take care. Later.